over to our left, all of that burned area, that's from the Cameron Peak. I'm Angelique Curtis. I'm a wildlife biologist out of Area 4 for Colorado Parks and Wildlife. And today we did a elk flight for the herd E4, which is north of Fort Collins. The purpose of these flights is to get classification. Classification is the um, cow, calf, and bulls that we see on the ground. And that is entered into a model. And then from there, we use the model to produce population estimates and to uh, decide how many licenses we need to give out each year. And so this was the first flight ever done in E4 since 2006. And this is, was a special flight because we used collars, so we used the Judas elk to locate a lot of the herds that we classified today. And today we probably classified around 4,200 elk. So going out to locate the elk today, uh, we, we use the Judas collars to do that. And the way that we do that is we do aerial flights and our pilot will actually get to a group and then go around the group to make sure there's no hazards in the way, including fences or um, if there's horses around. Yeah, I don't know if there's any fences, but... We're always looking for ways that we will not harm the animal and if there is, is at any time a hazard in the way we pull off the animal quickly. These groups that we're seeing can be up to 2,000 elk at a time and in order for us to properly classify them the pilot has to go in there and actually carve off a group of about 35 to 40 elk at a time and then his job is also to keep the elk separated from the main herd. So when we're doing this it's um, definitely the pilot and his skills that get us the data that we need. And as a biologist, I sit there and I talk into a recorder and just call off whether I see a cow, a calf, or a bull. And uh, at the end of the day, I go back, I listen to my recording, I get that all down into a spreadsheet. So it's kind of a long, laborious process to come up with some really good data. A cow, a spike, a cow, a bull, a bull, a cow, a four point, a spike, a bull, a a calf, a cow, a calf, a calf, a calf, a cow, a cow, a cow, a cow, a cow, six cows, three cows. A... My name is Cameron Stallings. I work for Aerotech out of Clovis, New Mexico. I'm the chief pilot. And I'm here doing uh, wildlife surveys for Colorado Parks and Wildlife. And flying wildlife is, it's not what you can see, it's what your customers can see, right? And uh, so, so that's the main thing I concentrate on. There's a lot of times I can't see the animals. I just kind of watch your guys' head and, you know, if they're looking left or right, I know how I need to maneuver the helicopter. A lot of animal welfare goes into it. You don't want to run them through fences or over cliffs or run them too long or um, things like that. And, of course, you have weather, uh, winds, snow, and it changes every 10 minutes here in Colorado. So, uh, and, you know, flying in the mountains when it's windy and is difficult and, and there's things you got to consider there so I've been doing this since I was uh, 19 years old and I'm 33 now I started out in a, in a Schweitzer 300C I went to uh, flight school just right down here in Broomfield uh, so I'm, I'm kind of connected with the area I'm, which I think is kind of neat but yeah I, I would so. be a biologist if I wasn't a pilot so and, and I, I love to hunt I love to fish and and so it, it all kind of comes together when you're flying, you know, I really enjoy it. For the Cameron Peak fire, um, the elk that we saw today actually summered up in where the Cameron Peak fire burned on Comanche Peak, Wilderness, Long Draw area, up in Dead Man, and they moved on to their wintering ground. And what we saw today is that the fire didn't inhibit them from actually getting to their wintering ground, and we saw some pretty good calf recruitment it's not great, but the whole state doesn't have uh, really great calf recruitment right now. But we did see healthy animals on the ground, so the fire didn't seem to affect their health-wise. As a wildlife biologist for CPW, this is one of the, 
the best parts of the job is getting up in the air and actually seeing the animals on the ground. Um, not only just to see how the health of the herd is, but also to kind of look at the landscape and see how it's being utilized and how the habitat is out there. And it beats sitting at a desk any day. And so um, this is one of the better parts. I definitely like doing uh, the ground captures and doing ground surveys too, but I get to fly a couple times a year. And like I say, today was one of the best days to fly.